Algolia relevance is based on a tie-breaking algorithm. Criteria, or rules, are used to sort and bucket results together and to break ties between equal matches. Basic relevance configuration is a two-step process. We first need to define attributes for textual rules to apply to, then we need to configure the business metrics to be used as additional criteria. We'll start by the textual relevance in this video, and in the next one we'll have a look at the business relevance. Textual relevance is easily configured with the searchable attributes setting, also referred to as attributes to index. Searchable attributes are what you can control to influence three aspects of textual relevance within the engine. You can declare the attributes of your records that you want to make searchable, you can order these attributes by importance, and you can also declare if the order of the words inside an attribute matters or not. This setting is taken into account by the attributes rule within the ranking formula. Now let's start by defining the attributes we want to make searchable. By default, when data is pushed to an algoli index, every single attribute is searchable. This is the fastest way to have something testable, but it is not optimal to provide a good search experience, as many unwanted attributes will bring noise to the search results. Here is an example record set. Each record is composed of company, name, title, previous titles, URL, and object ID. Those records have been pushed to our index, but nothing has been configured yet. Let's do a quick get setting on our index and log the results. We can confirm that nothing is set up for the searchable attributes. Let's perform an empty query on our index to see what is coming out of it and in what order. We can see that we have three hits returned. The first one is John, then we have Benny, and finally Dory. Typing org as a query, we can see that we have two hits returned. One rightfully, since the company name starts with org, organize everything, and the other is matching in the URL attribute, because their URL extension is .org. So this query would potentially match with all records containing a URL attribute with .org. That means we need to identify and carefully select the attributes we want our users to search in. Within our dataset, we should allow to search in the company, the name, the title, and the previous title attributes, but not the URL. To do so, we need to set all these attributes in the searchable attribute setting. This is how we do it. Let's try this query again. Typing org returns only the right hit now matching in the company attribute. Now what will happen if we type John? This word is present in the three objects, one in the name attributes and for the two others in the company attribute. Typing John right now, I will see that the record with the match in the company attributes will show up first, and the match with the name attribute will be last. For the matching John Dawson record to appear first, we'll need to ensure that the name attribute is above the company attributes in the list. The higher an attribute is in the list, the more important it will be. Let's change our array of searchable attributes and run the script.
doing the join query again. We can see that the record matching in the name attribute is appearing first. It's also possible to declare two or more attributes as the same level of importance by placing them in the same string separated by a comma. In this example, we want title and previous titles to be considered of the same importance. Finally, for each attribute, we also have one additional setting, ordered or unordered, ordered being the default one. In ordered, Matching words at the beginning of a given attribute will be considered more important than words further in this attribute. For instance, with our query John, considering the company attributes set as ordered, John and friends will be ranked higher than Benny and John because the matching word is in the first position instead of the third position. In most cases, it is recommended to set an attribute as unordered, especially array types attributes or attribute longer than an average of five words. To set an attribute as unordered, you declare it like so, unordered, and the attribute's name between parentheses. Now, if we execute the same query again, the results order has changed and Benny and John will come first. The match in the company attributes is considered equal between both records, and in last results for breaking inequality, the engine relies on the object ID. In a real-life use case, it should be the custom rankings job to break that tie, and we'll cover that in the next video. One last thing, when you declare two attributes as the same level like we did for title and previous titles, they will always be considered unordered. Putting together all the requirements, here is how the searchable attribute for this example would look like. During this video, we've covered the basic settings of textual relevance the searchable attributes, their position of importance, and the order of word or not. In the following video, we'll have a look at how to configure the business side of relevance with the custom ranking. Thanks for watching.